Hey guys, it's Shara here from Woodshop Diaries, and today I'm sharing a project with you that's a little out of the norm for me. If you followed along very long, you know that I'm usually working in the shop building furniture or large do-it-yourself projects, and they're usually out of inexpensive lumber. But recently I decided to take it some time to experiment with some smaller decor projects, and that's mostly due to the fact that a friend of mine from work gave me some walnut he didn't have room for, and I'm wanting to put it to good use in several unique projects. One of those projects is this simple modern walnut serving tray. So if you're ready to see how it came together, let's get to it. I mentioned that a friend of mine gave me this walnut and I picked out a few of my favorite pieces for this tray. The only downside of the free walnut was that it was rough sawn, which is not really a big deal, it just needed a few extra steps like planing and squaring off the edges on the table saw before it was ready to use. Once one side of the board was smooth and square, I cut down some two inch wide strips on my table saw. But if you don't have a table saw, don't be discouraged from giving this project a try. You can purchase lumber as one by two boards and make basically the same project with just slightly different dimensions. Once I had my strips cut down, I took them to the miter saw and cut seven pieces to about 20 inches long to make the bottom of the tray. Then I brought these pieces over to my workbench, grabbed a couple of clamps, and glued them all together. Once the glue was dry, I sanded my life away, <laughs> but seriously, there was a lot of sanding. I wanted this project to be nice and smooth, so I sanded it down flat with my belt sander, then polished it up with my orbital sander. Once that was done, I brought it back over to the miter saw and trimmed up the edges nice and square. I drew a line two inches in from each corner and used my speed square to mark 45 degree angles on the corners. I took this over to the miter saw and adjusted it to 45 degrees, then trimmed off the corners on the lines. Now that the bottom was finally finished, it was ready for the sides. Because I cut the corners off at 45 degrees, the angles on my sides needed to be half of that, so 22 and a half degrees. So I used more of my two inch wide strips and cut to fit them for the long edge of my tray bottom with edges mitered to 22 and a half degrees. Once I had my two long edge pieces cut, I glued them in place. I could have glued all of the side pieces on um, at once, but I thought it would be a little bit easier and a little less stressful if I glued them on two sides at a time. So that's what I did. Once that was dry, I moved on to cutting the rest of the pieces to fit around the tray. I cut all of them a little long and trimmed down as needed to get a nice tight fit. After I had them all cut, I glued the shorter edge pieces just like I glued on the longer edge pieces earlier. Finally, once that was dry, I used a small ratchet strap clamp to glue on the corner pieces. It was time consuming to do this glue up in sections, but it made it really easy to make 100% sure that everything fit together well, and it made the glue up process much cleaner and less stressful. Glue really stresses me out. <laughs> Thank you.
Once that was dry, I gave it a final sanding to get any glue squeeze out off and to make sure that everything was nice and smooth before I applied any finish. I finished this with Fusion Mineral Paint Beeswax. A friend of mine sent this to me to try and I've never used beeswax or any wax for that matter before, but I really loved it on this tray. It was really satisfying to kind of buff it in and it gave it a really nice smooth clean finish. Highly recommend it. I'll put a link to it in the comments below if you're interested. And like I said, I, this is not an ad, I'm just really a fan. Anyway, once the finish was good and dry, I wanted to install some handles. So I drilled holes slightly larger than the screws that came with the handles into the sides of the tray. But that wasn't going to work with the screw heads on the end of the screws that came with the handles. So I used a hacksaw and cut the heads off of the end of the screws, then used some Gorilla Glue epoxy to fill the screw holes so that it will hold the handles in place. Once the handles were in, I just used a rag to wipe off any excess uh, epoxy squeeze out and let it dry and took it inside to show it off. I cannot tell you how much I love this little project. It's so simple, but I'm so proud of it. I've got it chilling out on my coffee table right now and I can't wait to use it as an actual serving tray when guests come over. So if you've got some scrap wood lying around that you wanna do something fun with, I hope you give this one a try. Be sure to get the details on the products used and more tips and tricks over at my website, woodshopdiaries.com. I'll put a link to the blog post below for this project and stay tuned because I can't wait to show you what else I put together from this walnut stash. But that'll have to wait till next time. So until then you guys, happy building.